Subtitler Ultra Rises, Grzegorz Jarosławski, Dworska Hospital. Ultra Rises is a surgical procedure primarily used to treat flexible flat foot in pediatric and young adult patients. Insertion of the implant into the sinus tarsi requires only a 1.5 cm incision. Ultra Rises allows a surgeon to limit calcaneus hyperaversion and simultaneously maintain the optimal mobility of the subtilar joint. Before the procedure, we assess the patient's overpronation while walking. We also analyze weight bearing foot x rays. The orthopedist examines the foot manually, assessing the range of calcaneal aversion. To perform the ultra rises, the hind foot deformity must be flexible. Subtilar ultra rises, an exemplary course of the procedure. A small incision is made in the area of sinus tarsi. We should be careful to avoid a transection of the superficial branch of the peroneal nerve. This nerve is clearly visible subcutaneously in most populations when the foot is inverted. The subcutaneous tissues at the tarsal canal are dissected. Then calcaneofibular ligament is dissected. A K wire is inserted through the tarsal canal to mark the direction of the implant insertion. The K wire is passed posterior medially and slightly up, about from 15 to 30 degrees of the perpendicular to the sagittal plane. The end of the K wire should tend the skin below the medial malleolus. We use trial sizers to determine the appropriate size of the implant. We insert the trial sizer into the sinus tarsi. Then we check its position with fluoroscopy. The alignment and aversion of the calcaneus is checked manually. We change the diameter of the tricizer to obtain the desired correction. An example of the subtilar implant, Hyprocure. The respective size implant is loaded on the driver and inserted into sinus tarsi. The circle marks the sinus tarsi. A simplified illustration shows the hind foot correction. We evaluate the foot mobility with the live fluoroscopic view. In the video we can see the comparison of the foot mobility without and with the implant. The video shows the implant limiting the peritalar dislocation. We make sure definitely that the implant is placed correctly. The procedure ends with skin suturing. A small wind up to 1.5 cm. Stereo strips skin closure is optional. Thanks to Arthur Rises, we achieve reduction of the peritylar dislocation. In the picture, we can see an example of the obtained hind foot alignment correction. The patient skates six weeks after arthritis. The small scar six weeks after the procedure.